yung mga nakasubok ng magtrabaho sa big companies or even small companies, retail services, 10 employees or less, eh, meron at meron kang co-worker na may problema sa attitude. Diba? Eh, there's a saying, you cannot always work with people you like. Pero as a professional, eh, kailangan gawin mo yung trabaho. However, pag ang empleyado ay may attitude problem, this already is a ground for termination. Pag yung attitude problem ng empleyado ay detrimental to the company, no? he can upstray, uh, upset, he can strain the relationship between working personnel or among working personnel and management, eh, may problema talaga ito. Di ba? Pag uh, may attitude problem ang co-employee mo, eh, affected lahat. At uh, uh, management can initiate an action to terminate the employee under Article 242 of the Labor Code. Uh, ang sinasabi lang dito, ang importante lang, yung attitude problem should be persistent. Hindi lang one time attitude problem but it goes on and on. At hindi na mapigilan yung stress among the co-employees, hindi na mapigilan yung encounters between the employee and management, then you can terminate it. At maraming Supreme Court decisions dito, GR number 154410, GR number 1689549, na nagsasabing this is a ground for termination. Although hindi siya naka-enumerate doon sa labor code, na specifically grounds for termination, ang sabi ng Korte Suprema eh, this is an analogous cause for termination if the attitude of the employee adversely affects the work environment. The employer here can be justified in terminating yung employee ngayon. Uh, of course, kailangan pa rin ng substantial and sufficient proof uh, pursuant to labor laws at kailangan pa rin ng tinatawag nating plant level due process. May notice. No? Bigyan ng opportunity to explain, bigyan ng opportunity to reform at kung talagang matigas ang ulo, then that can be a ground for termination. This is the case of C versus NEET. Uh, not decided by Supreme Court.